Here's a VI I created of a solar panel. Virtual, it's a VI is a virtual instrument using LabVIEW. Um, if we hit run, you can see that <clears throat> the sun's brightness, which is the mean irradiance in watts per meter squared, can be adjusted to increase uh, what location you live in. For example, looking at this chart <clears throat> in the central part of the North uh, United States, it would be around 200 watts per meter squared. So depending on where you live, <clears throat> this can be adjusted. The number of solar panels can be adjusted. Um, as the sun comes up in the morning, it starts to generate more electricity. And you can see, depending on the hour of the day, you have a, a maximum. Also, the cost of the panels. This one is 309 for the sharp panel. Uh, ND2400. You can see that uh, 100 of those would cost uh, $30,000. You can decrease the number of panels. And that changes the curve. The, so the daily value of energy generated, this is based on the average kilowatt, uh, the average cost per kilowatt hour being 12 cents. <clears throat> and the annual value of energy generated is $12,000. It takes 2.4 years to yield a profit. Of course, that number uh, number of years will go up as you, depending on what area you live in. If you live in a very high irradiance area, of course, the number of years to yield the profit would go would go down. So, depending on where you live. So, we're just putting it back in the middle. Anyway, that's the that's the solar panel. VI that I created. <clears throat> Going to the back panel, you can see that I'm integrating the daily power, which is kilowatts. Uh, integrating that uh, gives you the energy in kilowatt hours. So you can see in a typical day for a single panel. Um, the peak kilowatt hours generated is 0.25 for this particular panel. I got that from the spec sheet. And if you integrate that using a sine function, if you integrate that, then you wind up with about uh, <coughs> 3 kilowatt hours total for one panel. And that's how I, I did that using... Um, <coughs> Let's see here. The way I got this curve is I, I use the integrate function, <clears throat> the integral function, and inside of a for loop. And so I just integrated this sine wave signal that I have, which I, sine signal is just really approximation of how the sun comes up. I probably could have done a better job on that approximation, but. <clears throat> And also have the mean irradiance in here. Um, have the kilowatt hours. I have the cost per panel, 305. Of course, all these numbers could be changed to controls. And we could put it on the front panel, and then you could adjust those values. But right now, I currently have them on the back panel. Um, <clears throat> and um, anyway, that's that's the VI. Um, thanks.